what a tongue tie is. Because many, as we were discussing off camera, don't even know. That is very true. Um, you know, we all have webbing in between our fingers, mm -hmm. and there's a little web underneath the tongue. Okay. If you look at this picture of the tongue, this is what people usually think of as the tongue. Right. But that's the top of the tongue. I would like to show you the other picture, which is of the bottom of the tongue. Okay. You see, when you lift up the tongue, there's that little piece of tissue under there. And in this case, it's creating a kind of a heart-shaped dip in the center of the tongue. Yes. Because it's too tight. Now, we all have that little piece of tissue there. It's called a frenum, or if you're from other parts of the world, frenulum. Okay. But this one in particular is too tight. It's creating a dimple in the tongue, and it's keeping the child from being able to lift its tongue up to the roof of its mouth and being able to nurse properly. And when you have uh, this, it also affects your upper lip? Is this true? It can. It's a midline issue. Okay. And so you can also have up under the lip another tie, which in some people you might know, it can keep the front teeth from going together and create a little space there. Yes, I, my, my six-year-old actually has that. Yes, but it's not only that, it can keep your upper lip from being able to flange outward to be able to get a seal around the, the breast when you're trying to nurse as a right. baby. And instead, your, your lip will curl in and the baby is then biting rather than sucking and the baby will actually get little blisters on his lips because he's trying to nurse but his his upper Can't, lip is too right. tight. And then it causes obviously a lot of pain for the mom. For, for the, the new mom, mom and not very much success for the baby. Wow, okay. We have some pictures of babies with a tongue tie. So doctor, if you can please explain what we're looking at here. Well, that's a lovely tongue tie. Okay. You see, this is very thin and they can be anywhere along a continuum of thick, thin, sort of, you know, fat, short, long. This one, if you aren't trained to know what to look for, could look fairly innocuous. Right. But in fact, it is very tough tissue in there, and it goes deeper, further back than you think. You just see that little thin part in the front that's attached, but it goes way much, much deeper under the tongue, and it's keeping that child from being able to get the tongue up to the roof of its mouth.